everyone, Amy here. So whether you have been using Office apps for a long time, or if you are new to using apps such as OneDrive, SharePoint, or Microsoft Teams, then the difference between the three can be confusing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how they are different and how you can use them effectively. So with that being said, let's nerd out. All right, so here we are in Microsoft 365. And if we head on up to the app launcher on the top left and select OneDrive. So here we are in OneDrive and this is the home page. So we can think of OneDrive as our documents library for everything that we create and collaborate on within any Microsoft products. So you'll see at the top here that we have for you. And these are just some suggested documents that Microsoft thinks that you might want to work on next. So next we have this recents area and this allows us to search for all of the documents that we've recently been working on. There's some easy filters at the top where you can easily filter the document type, make it easier to navigate. Now there's one key area here that I'd like to highlight. So you'll see here that we have the document name and then below that we have OSWA. What is that? So this is the file location. And you'll notice here that this one says my files. So when it says my files, that means that it's stored in your OneDrive. Whereas if it has something else, then that is going to be the name of a SharePoint site. So for example, let's click on this OSWA. Then that is going to actually take us to a SharePoint site, but we are still able to locate those documents from this OneDrive dashboard. So they are a little bit interwoven, but it just makes it easier for you to locate documents. And then for example, if we click on this one that says my files, you are going to notice that it just opens up the same page and that because it is stored in OneDrive, which is this page right here where we are. And it, you'll notice as well, just to compare and contrast the SharePoint sites in the URL, this one says dash my dot SharePoint slash personal. Whereas previously it said sites forward slash the site name. So if you are ever in a document and you're not really sure where it's located or where you are at um, in Microsoft, then you can just take a look at the URL as a little bit of a hint to pinpoint your location. So here we are in the My Files area within OneDrive. And one of the key differences between SharePoint and OneDrive is the sharing component. And I think that this dashboard really highlights it because we have this sharing column here. So we'll see that a lot of these say private and that means that they are stored in my OneDrive and they are not shared with anybody. So by default, if you store a document in your OneDrive that isn't in a site, then only you are going to have access to it. Whereas here for this general OSWA file folder, we can see here that the sharing, the owner is actually OSWA. So that means that anybody that is part of that OSWA site, I'm gonna show an example of that in just a moment, will have access to this file folder. And then going down even further, we have this file folder that we can see has been shared. In OneDrive, let's just keep on scrolling down. I've got this picture of Rue here and she's just looking majestic as ever at a waterfall. But say I want to share this with somebody. So if we click the share, then we can specify who we want to share this document with. And if we expand this section here, then there are some different settings. So you can define who you wanna share it with. You can define what they're gonna be allowed to do with that document. You can even define an expiry date for the sharing link, which is super handy, especially if you're gonna be sending like sensitive information and you only want to give a limited access. And this is just a nice way to put a timer on that. Um, you can set a password and you can even block them from downloading. So lots of really cool things there. But now if we click apply, then now we can close that out and we will see here that now that document is showing as that shared status. So it's a big, really nice big snapshot of who has access to all of the documents that you are able to view within this OneDrive dashboard. 
So now in contrast, if we select this owner OSWA, we know that this is a SharePoint site because we've now navigated to the SharePoint area within the Office 365 suite. We can also see that we are in that OSWA site there, also showing here. But what is a SharePoint site? To define that, I think it's going to be easiest to create a site. And here we can decide what type of site we want to create. So you can use a communication site. This is for a broad audience and there's not that many content authors. So I would say that this is something better for like your whole company, like a, a communication of what's happening at the company in a bigger aspect. Whereas a team site is a private space to collaborate with your team. So we could think about this as say like a marketing team site or a finance team site or an operations team site. So there are a handful of site templates here. I'm just going to stick with the standard template and we are just going to select use template. So let's keep with the theme of the marketing department and we don't need to add a description here, but you'll notice right away that this is automatically populating a marketing email address. So the nice thing about SharePoint is that when we add people to this site, then we can communicate with all of them in one email. This is going to be the site address. And in addition to that email, a shared OneNote notebook is automatically going to be created as well as a team calendar. So this is just a really nice way to streamline the collaboration area within SharePoint. On this next page here, we will have some privacy settings. So we can say that anyone in the organization can access the site or private members only. So because I only want this to be the marketing team, I'm going to keep it as private. But if you wanted to have a site where anybody that, you know, joined your company could access that site, then you would want to make it public. We'll keep that with private. And now we are going to create the site. And this is where we will just get to add some members. So here I will just add myself, but you can just easily define everyone that is going to be a part of that marketing team. So this is where you would just add the marketing department. And then now anything that is going to be added into that SharePoint site, all of these people are already going to have access to it. So um, you'll notice here as well that there is an option to say a member or an owner. And there is just a brief little description here. So an owner would have full control of the site, uh, whereas site members are going to have some limitations there. So I'll make myself an owner, um, but of course this will just be your personal preference. So if we click finish, then here we are in the marketing area. And this is now going to be that collaboration space where we can add all of the marketing documents. And then once we add documents, they are going to show up in my OneDrive. So now you might be wondering how Microsoft Teams fits in all of this. So here we are within SharePoint on the left and I've got my Microsoft Teams opened on the right. If we scroll on down to our frequent sites, then you'll notice here that any of these frequent SharePoint sites that say group also are represented in my Microsoft Teams. So we have dog boarding, which is here. We have human resources, which is down here, and operations, and then we have OSWA. Basically, when you create a new team within Microsoft Teams, it will automatically create a SharePoint site, and that is where you can you know, access all of your contents within that team. So Teams is a house for everything, and there are a ton of different features within Microsoft Teams, so you can create a SharePoint site like we just did for the marketing group um, without creating a team. They do just kind of provide a different way to visualize all of your documents. So for example, if we click on that OSWA site, because this is also a SharePoint site that is created from Teams, if we select this little Teams icon button, then we can open up Microsoft Teams here and then we can go to those files and locate those documents. I've also created this little diagram here and I just thought that it helped create a visual to highlight the differences. So of course we have Office 365 at the top, 
And then we have the OneDrive, which is your document library. And that's where we store personal files and we can share them from the OneDrive. Um, also highlighting that, you know, you have SharePoint here, which is your SharePoint sites as well as Teams. And those are part of the Office 365, but also your documents within those areas are also accessible from within your personal OneDrive. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. And I do hope that I've also helped you distinguish the difference between these three apps. If you found this video helpful, then I would really love it if you could give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, we'll catch you next time.